In this uh, quick video tutorial, we're going to look at how to do inmate search in Indianapolis, Indiana. Uh, there's a link in the description. You can click on that and it's going to take you to the uh, specific page for Indianapolis. Uh, you can also type indianapubliclrecords.org in your browser. It's going to take you to the home page and then hover over other records and select inmate search. So it's going to take you to uh, the uh, Indiana statewide page here and then you can select the appropriate county or city here we're going to focus on indianapolis so let's take a look at it uh, scroll down uh, and once you get to indianapolis resources uh, you will notice there is the uh, indianapolis metropolitan police department and then you have the marion county sheriff's office and then you got the superior court so all three of these can be resources for you um, now uh, the police department doesn't have an online database, but you can request limited uh, criminal history information. Uh, so you have an option for that, but this isn't an instant type of a service. Uh, now, if you go to Marion County Sheriff's Office, they do have an inmate uh, database. So if you click on find a person in jail, uh, it's going to take you to this page and you can do your search by booking number or first and last name. You can also type a uh, birth date in there if you want to be more specific. Uh, so uh, those are your options with the law enforcement uh, departments locally. Now you have the court system. Now anytime somebody has a run-in with the police, typically they will go to the court and that creates a public record which the public has access to. So uh, this, if, even if somebody is in jail, if they get released or if they get transferred, transferred, uh, you won't find that record within the database anymore. They don't keep them for too long. So if you want to look at older records or maybe somebody just got released or they got transferred, you definitely want to take a look at the court records because they keep these records practically forever. So uh, let's click on that link. And so once you're here, you can search by case number. We're going to go ahead and click on the name tab here. And then you can select uh, a, uh, you can look at all the courts within the state, or you can select a uh, specific county or, yeah, it, uh, it goes, it looks like just by county. So uh, if you want to do, uh, say, like Marion County, you can, uh, select that and then you want to limit your search to say criminal records only now uh, unless you have very specific information like first last name middle name and a birth date uh, you want to narrow things down as much as possible down here because it might if you have a very generic first and last name it's going to bring up a whole bunch of records so you want to make sure you want to filter as much stuff out as possible all right so these are your local resources now um, if you notice here above the Indianapolis resources, you have different counties. Uh, people do drive from county to county. So sometimes if you can't find a record uh, within a particular city or county, it's wise to check the neighboring counties as well. And we have those uh, resource pages for you here. Uh, next, you have the Indiana statewide inmate search options. If you click on this link, it's gonna take you to the main state page. Uh, once you're here, you do have all the different counties and the cities to choose from. We're going to look at the Indiana Department of Corrections. Uh, so the difference between, say, a sheriff's department jail database and a Department of Corrections database is if somebody is in the jail database, they get sentenced to, uh, say, over 12 months. They're going to be sent to a prison uh, and you won't find them in the local jail database. So it's, it's a good idea to check. Uh, the uh, Department of Corrections database as well, and they do offer one online. Uh, here we are looking at it. If you got a first and a last name, you hit search and it's free and instantaneous. Uh, next, uh, you want to take a look at the name box on top. This is going to be uh, a premium service, so there is a fee, but what it does is it doesn't just look at Indianapolis, Marion County, or the state of Indiana. It goes also outside the state. So if somebody has a record in another state, you won't find it if you're just looking at the local court system. Um, and people do move around quite a bit, state to state nowadays, it's very common. So if you wanna make sure nothing is missed, uh, this can be a great tool for your uh, research. So with that said, uh, click on the link in the description and come on down and get started on your Indianapolis inmate search.